Good evening from the Rooster Inn. Two days ago I had not heard of Astro Surface. Tonight I'm giving you a first look and a quick review and a tutorial on how to use it. It replaces uh, PIP, Auto Staggered, Registax and Photoshop, all four in one program. Let me start with the download. The website is not secure. I uh, did download the zip file. Uh, it shows here that the latest one is uh, the Titiana T7. And then once uh, you download it, uh, it is a matter of uh, unzipping uh, the zip file. And uh, there is no installation necessary. You just uh, run the program Auto Surface, Astro Surface, I should say. And uh, <clears throat> you are in business. And uh, once you run it, files, you can open a uh, data file. I'm going to look at uh, Jupyter initially, and then uh, we will look at uh, Neptune as well, just to give you a feel of what you can do. Uh, there is a raw file a capture of Jupiter, uh, 2.8 uh, gigabytes. And that's what the file looks like. The very first thing it's going to ask you is, uh, are you looking at RGB, bearing, monochrome, or otherwise? And if you're happy with what it is, uh, just select register. The numbers here represent the order in which you will click on execution. The first part is, for all intents and purposes, PIP. You say detect planet or disk, and it says, is this what you want? Uh, double click, and uh, we're done with step one. Step two is uh, the auto staggered analysis. It is going to look at uh, rank ordering the frames. I have a thousand images. And when it's done with them, uh, you can choose how many you want to stack. You can look at the graph to see how good they are. A graph auto open. Uh, a graph C. And then uh, you can choose where you want to go. Uh, I like going with 10% uh, to get me to where things are uh, reasonably good. Uh, quality wise okay that is as close to 10% as we will get and uh, we're done with analyze we go to stacking uh, here uh, that is essentially auto stacker you are putting the anchor points and uh, set them, we did the setting. And then next, it's just a matter of stacking. You can select the output. I'm going to go with TIFF, and uh, off we go stacking. It's done with the stack. Now we move to edit, that is Registax. We close the earlier program. Uh, here we have lots of options. I have not had a chance to try them all, but uh, my workflow right now is to click on levels uh, that will uh, uh, stretch the histogram. If 100% is too hot for you, uh, you can go down to about 90%. And okay, we're done with this one. Uh, the second step in my mind is to look at aligning uh, the RGB, you specify which area you want to align and then just click on align. And it has done the aligning, uh, minimal uh, adjustments. Now we go to the wavelets. I'm going to reset. Uh, here you have your noise, noise filter pre filter. Uh, if you go to uh, about a third of the way, and then uh, the wavelets. 
Again, it's uh, one, two, three, four, two. The deconvolution with Justin Lucy is primarily for deep sky objects. So we're going to look at the wavelengths. Uh, notice how with the simple increment here, the Jupiter, the colors are starting to take shape. If at any point the planet gets rough, you can either reduce the strength to smooth it a little bit, or you can increase the noise filter. And this is where uh, if we go to the next one, the large as opposed to the small, the high, low frequency as opposed to the high frequency. Again, you can uh, adjust to your heart's content. And if it gets too rough, you can uh, denoise. Uh, here it becomes a matter of preference as to uh, how much sharpening you want and uh, how much denoising uh, you want. But that is uh, close enough to what I like to see Jupiter. The great red spot is certainly red. And uh, there is some overexposure here. But um, you can play for eternity until you're happy with it. And then uh, you're done. OK. And then files. And you can save it in uh, JPEG or TIFF or any other format that you would like to save it in. Uh, the next quick uh, tutorial is to look at Neptune. Uh, files, open another file. We're going to go back to uh, looking at only uh, video files. And there is Neptune. This is a 52 second file. And this is a minute six. Uh, either way is fine. Open. And that is how rough Neptune is right now. We're going to go RGB colors register. We tell it to detect the planet or the disk. It says, is it roughly here? Yeah, we're going to go with roughly here. And then. Uh, it is suggesting 9.7% of the stack. Uh, let's analyze. And uh, analysis is done. In terms of the tiles for the coverage, I'm going to go with the 24. 48 may be a bit rough here, yeah, 24. 24 is the lowest it's going to let me go. Uh, and then stack it. And we are done. Edit. Not much editing to do. I'm going to go with uh, levels again. And possibly aligning RGB. And that's about it. I don't see any point in applying wavelets to a little blue blob. But uh, remember that we went from uh, this was uh, the Neptune that we started with. That's what it looks like. And this is the Neptune that we ended up with. So again, we can save the file at this point. If you want to go with wavelets, uh, it uh, saves the last session's settings, which would not be applicable here. Uh, you can certainly do some denoising if you want to. And uh, you can apply 
the wavelets, but the wavelets are only going to force more denoising. And uh, I don't really see much uh, value in uh, applying wavelets to Neptune. And then uh, if insert and we uh, save it, file, save, and uh, we are done. So this is a quick view of uh, AstroSurface. I will be using it quite a bit. I compared the results that I got with, with AstroSurface to those that I had gotten with uh, AutoStackert, PIP AutoStackert, Registax, and Photoshop. And let me show you just a, a couple of uh, examples. Uh, this is Jupiter that I got with uh, the traditional method using uh, four different programs. And this is Jupiter that I got with uh, the same uh, source file that I got with uh, Astro surface. Uh oh. Let's see the convention to go back to what it was. Yep. These are the two files. I don't know which one you like, but uh, I could not go much farther there. I certainly may have overdone it here. But this is a the quick comparison. So that's all for now. Uh, I wish you the best as you experiment with the Astro surface. And uh, when I do some more with it, I will be sure to uh, share it with you. For now, uh, so long from the Rooster Inn.